So, this is Trumbull Valley, huh? I thought it'd be bigger. Your mom loved visiting this place. It killed her to leave it all behind. Aunt Fee, I'm pretty sure it was the vodka that killed Mom. I know I was only six at the time, but I was there. We got a zombie on the way. Dear God, I'm tired. Hold on, what's that? I don't know, but it just saw us. Please, watch out! Fuck me, that was not a normal feral. No, it wasn't. We need to find someone who knows more about this place. For once, we're in total agreement. Yo, nice work with that blood feral. That thing's been lurking around here all day. Aunt Fee, we should see if this guy knows my dad. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to chat with him. Over there. Well, I know everybody in this valley. You're not from around here, are you? No, we came here looking for, for, for someone important to me. Tell you what, if you help me out, I can probably point you in the right direction. <sighs> Look, I'm trying to take back my home from this excellent. Let's go fuck some shit up. Is this really what we should be doing? If we help him, he helps us. Seems fair to me. Trumbull Valley used to be a nice place, if you could believe that. When we were kids, our folks would take us up to Mount Tanner for the weekend. We've been hoping that the blood plague hadn't gotten here yet. Seems like there's no such thing as a safe place anymore. Okay, that's the place. You lived in a gas station called Jurassic Junction? Yeah, and my friends are probably still shambling around inside. Right, sorry. In that case, how about we get you some fucking payback? Uh-uh, not today! Just crush a few more skulls and we win! Are we done here? I think we're done. Thanks for the help. It doesn't bring my friends back, but...
You're both welcome to stay here as long as you need. I could use the company. You're welcome. And thanks. No more of that. I had all these big plans for our gardens before the zombies showed up. Maybe I can get back to it. Damn, too loud. The closer we get to running out of cure, the closer we are to a total fucking disaster. Be any louder? with that. We have a lot of work ahead of us before this place is in good shape. that we're settled, it's time to get back to what I'm here for. Hmm. Hey, I'm looking for Mickey Wilkerson. Do you know where I can find him? You're looking for the Wilkerson's? Really? On purpose? Yeah, I guess I can help. I'd like to restock our med supply if we can. Look, I know a guy who works with the Wilkerson's. 
It'd be safer than talking to one of them in person. Look, I know a guy who works with the Wilkerson's. It'd be sick. Hey, it's your funeral. Yeah, the guy you want is named Brock. I've seen him scavenging at some bar over in Spencer's Mill. Listen, that's a long walk, so you should gear up and grab a set of wheels. Hold on there, Luis. You are not doing this without me. Fine. You can ride shotgun, but don't try to talk me out of this. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> well, that was noisy. You know, I never liked your mom with that guy. And it made me hate this whole valley. But being out here now, minus the Zeds, I can see why she loved the place. I'm glad I can share it with you. Watch out for zombies. No, your mother and I kept you away from this town for a reason. Aunt Fee, I told you not to make this a thing. Fine, it's not a thing. I just want you to be prepared. Sounds like someone's in there. I don't like this, not one bit. Come on, Aunt Fee. We came this far. Yes, found it. Oh shit, no time to chat. We got zombies coming in. Kill every zombie myself, people. from somewhere you look familiar Mickey Wilkerson shit yeah of course I know him what you owe money or something no it's not like that this is personal whatever you say you did me a solid back there so I'll introduce you are you sure we can trust this guy do we have a choice I'm sure it'll be fine uh yo I'm right here you know like blood. There must be a plague heart nearby. Better watch out for plague zombies.
tell me, how do you know Mickey Wilkerson? Are you related? You mean, am I a Wilkerson? Shit, no. I just work for the family. Aunt Fee, stop grilling the guy. He's doing us a favor. Getting close now. Cool. Thanks for the help. Yeah, you might want to save your thanks until after you meet the lady in charge. Hey there, Nat. Is Mickey around? I got somebody here who wants to meet him. Brock, what's wrong with you bringing strangers into my home? See? Told you not to thank me too soon. Mickey's busy. You can talk to me, girl. Who are you? Why do you want to talk to my cousin Mickey? He's my father, all right? Does that answer your question? Is that a fact? Well, I guess Mickey did used to run around with a lot of girls. Could be true. I'm not lying. My mom told me all about Mickey and the rest of the Wilkerson's. Let's just say that about 20 years ago, mom and Mickey met up at Mount Tanner. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah, I think I might remember your mama. She was quite a little spitfire. Careful, that's my sister you're talking about. Look, mom died when I was six. Is it that crazy that I'd want a chance to get to know my dad? Well, I admit, most folks had never worked this hard to meet my dirtbag cousin. Let me think on this a little. I'll get back to you. I guess I've come this far. I can wait, but not for too long. Come on, Larisse. Let's go home and give this woman time to think over what you've told her. Hey, Larisse, come talk to me before you go. Are you okay? Honestly, I don't know. It's hard to believe that I've finally met these people. I get it. Relax. You'll figure it out. I know this is all a lot to process. Whatever happens, I'll be here for you. Yep, I bet that's just what Mom told me before she drank herself to death.
With the right upgrade to that repair depot, I could get my old vehicle operation up and running again. It feels wrong to have...